All right, so we have a, a Dutch Sprinter here. And we have a problem, which is this key. And the problem is right here, the absence of the key. And it would start the truck. You hear that noise? So it would start it up. And you can see it's so lighting up. And once you hear that noise, you know that the uh, it's got 189,000 miles on it. it. Starts right up. So yeah, that's the key. And it is broken. I did get the new blanks for it and of course you can see I've been, I'm working here trying to remove this piece so the new blank has the key in it this is just the shell because the sprinter in here there is there is um, a chip which we would need to transfer to this this is just a shell and it does have not, you know, see it's not, <laughs> the window is not broken here. The blade is uncut. And once I remove the other piece, I'll go and cut the blade and I'll transfer this to this remote. I'll transfer the guts from this one here. I'm not going to film the whole process, but I'll be using some wires, which will insert along the key. You know, I just have to play with the thickness. So basically it just goes like this. And you would just have to get them in there as far as you can and pull out and hopefully grab the key. There's some other ways to do it, but that's the one I know right now. So let me get onto it. One more thing I've noticed is basically, um, I know how they broke the key, and the reason is, look, when you insert it, right, I'm just gonna look over the phone so I insert it right, see it doesn't make no noise, see, when you tilt it up, the immobilizer catches it, when it's down, it's not, that's how they broke the key, because, it doesn't turn this way. It tries to, but you know, I mean, it's it's hard. You have to really force it. When you put it up like this, it turns with no problem. But that's how they broke it. So if your key is not catching right away, you need to change that battery inside here. Would you pop that thing loose? All right, so there's two batteries in here. They sit bottom down. I'll try to record this way, it's easier. All right, go like this, and then the key and the cap goes right on there. Kind of snaps in, that's it. Oh, make sure you remove the battery cable before you do it. It's back there. This right there, see it goes on there. You press this little thing and pull it back. It's your positive battery cable. Because once you, when you remove the lock, it could just disable the whole car. And then you get to the lock. Uh, it has this weird ring on it. It just kind of screws on there to get this in place. It just holds it in there. But yeah, that's the, that's the lock that sits in there. And you, you're supposed to remove it with some special tool or I just put a I pretty much pushed this thing in. I don't know if I didn't, I didn't. I don't look like I broke it or anything, but I just pushed it in. 
and you know try to turn it a little bit and push it in this has a thread on here as you can see so that's how it works I can see this this right here is a lock that's what that what if your key doesn't come out that's what it is see that it's moving a little bit so that's the lock which is on the side of this and it pulled you are actually gonna pull it in towards just well if you look at it this is from yourself and then to the side and then it pulls out you can see that little thing that comes out I almost broke it when I was removing it because the guy didn't show it uh, or maybe I missed it but yeah that's the lock so now now on to disassembly of this lock we would have to take it apart and push the key from the back so this thing that's the back of it comes off with no problem there's no screws the screws are actually for the front port of it the screws in here you do not you don't you have to touch them i just use a little prick just to kind of pull up the plastic a little bit and that's how i pulled it off all right, so I called that operation successful. I did manage to remove this thing out of there. That's the piece that broke off of my key. <laughs> Man, this was a pain in the butt to remove all that junk out of here. Look at that, oh boy. Anyways, just for this, um, it didn't come out easy. All right, so what happened is I couldn't remove it because this slot was this way. It was not all the way in, like in the you know off position or whatever. So I had to kind of turn it with my. It's kind of hard to show it one hand, but I'll try. So I had to turn it with this key, insert it all the way in, you know, until it hit the the old piece, and then turn it this way, and at the same time push from the back with the prick, which kind of looked like this straight prick. my camera would focus on it probably not but anyways you will see the piece of the key in the back of it and you just push you have to push it right in the middle of it with the prick it goes in and at the same time I was turning this towards myself in this case and then just push until it start coming in you really gotta well don't push too hard you might break it All right so now I'll go cut the new key um, I'll lubricate this, I'll spray it with some lube here now and um, from the back and from the front I'll use white lithium grease I did use some to take it out but still I need it so I need some more I guess because all kinds of stuff was in there but yeah that's what the lock looks like they want you to send them this lock or they read the keys off of that if you lost all your keys to, and then you could probably make another key for program for 100 bucks it's not too expensive but this here that's the kicker you got to take all of this out all of it all these panels and all this other junk but you could do it I did it you could do it there's guy I'll, I'll put a link in the video which shows you how to remove this is 2009 uh, Dodge here yeah, the Freightliner but same thing mine has no seats so it's a little easier because we're just cleaning this up i took the seats out to clean them up but yeah that's the operation i'll put the cover back on i'll lubricate it and yeah that's it